Kamishi for the ILO is just one out of many others that we are doing with other organs of the United Nations. You might recall that we did sign an, another partnership agreement with the United Nations Development Program for the ASDP, Agribusiness Supply Development Program, and we are already signed and standing with the United Nations Industrial Development Organization to be able to enable NASA to acquire the CONFAR methodology, which is computer models for feasibility studies and forcing. And therefore, today marks the third understanding we are going to have with all of the United Nations by bringing the ILO to their training center on board. I think this is a tremendous step that we've taken to ensure that we have the capacity within NASEL to be able to develop the value chain that exists already in a number of sectors in, in, the, in the country. Now, with us in the ILO, we also see value chain as an opportunity to create the many jobs that Nigeria desires. You know, for, 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 I'm sure for sure that Nigeria has a huge problem of unemployment amongst its youth. Now, given the fact that we have a lot of people employed in, in agriculture, we can even create more jobs by developing the value chain. We should be buying Nigerian fruit, we should be buying, buying Nigerian vegetables and all these things that have sort of uh, become prominent in the international supermarkets that are becoming evident everywhere. So it's important therefore that we develop the value chain in Nigeria for us to be able to benefit from the progress that we made locally. So we are, what we're trying to do is to set up round tables with all actors along the value chain, from input suppliers to, uh, to, to, to processors to logistics service providers and the end markets for each of those value chains. Because the rule or the theory behind value chain is that all actors in that chain are relevant. And the chain is as strong as its weakest link. So there is no actor that will be left behind. We will set up those round tables. We are going to sit down with the pre-upstream actors, the upstream actors, the midstream actors, and the downstream actors. The pre-upstream actors are all the input suppliers that enable primary production to happen in upstream. Then the output of the primary production in upstream is what we transmit to the midstream, where you have storage, processing, logistics, warehousing, and wholesale, right? Then whatever comes out of midstream goes to downstream, where you have the markets, domestic market, consumer market, uh, industrial markets and export markets. So this is the theory behind it. Now for those eight commodity value chains we have mentioned, the same rule will apply to them. In that way we will, we will be able to convince finance and investment to take a position within a fixed value chain, either integrate the whole value chain in financing it or take segments of the value chain. And ultimately what we want to do is going to be very innovative. We want to reach a point where we can take a whole value chain and place it before finance. You might see that a single investor or a consortium of investors or bankers can take a whole value chain and do integrated cascade financing end to end. This is the holy grail, this is the ultimate objective for us. Well, uh, as, as the MP said, I think the, there's a great realization that for, for Nigeria to be able to develop its value chain is need within an institution like myself to have the capacity to be able to to optimize and take advantage of the value chain opportunities that exist. So we're delighted to be partnering with NSL and, and bringing on board global experiences from across the world, helping to build the capacity of NSL to be able to deliver and take lead in this very important area. So um, this is why we're here this morning. My name is uh, Joel Alfonso. I am uh, working for the International Training Center of the ILO. Uh, this week we just have finalized a value chain development course for the staff of NIPSA. This has been a very wonderful experience in the sense that uh, participants have uh, learned quite a lot how to do value chain development. They have learned the concepts of what is value chain development. They have learned how to design and implement value chain development projects. And also, they have learned how to facilitate value chains. I understand that the participants 
now have all the tools and methodologies to promote value chain development. During this week, we have a focus on rice, cassava, uh, the agriculture. Um, I think that uh, has been a nice experience and hopefully will be of um, success for future endeavors of uh, NIRSA. Thank you.